Hi there family, Joseph's Sack of Grain is a weekly devotion for God's people by Pastor Joey Govender. When there was a famine, Joseph provided grain for his family and the masses around him. The grain sustained them. The Word of God is your grain and is vital for your spiritual growth, sustenance and success. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hey there, family. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. It's always a joy to be able to share a thought with you. And then I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will bless you. Well, Mother's Day is coming up shortly. And I'm praying that you'll be blessed by God and all of us will have a great time because of the presence and the power of the Almighty God. But I'm reading Proverbs 20:20. 20, 20. It says, whoever curses his father or his mother, his land will be put out in deep darkness. Then it says in the Living Translation, if you insult your father or mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. Proverbs 30, 11 says, there is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. The translation is, some people curse their father and do not thank their mother. I'll tell you what, my beloved, we don't want to be that generation whose light is snuffed out. We don't want to be that generation, my beloved, who does not bless their father and mother. We don't want to be that generation that receives the curse. We want to be the generation that gets the blessings of the Almighty God. There are so many people who've lost their moms. I'm praying that the Lord will bless you today. You remember your mom. You have memories of your mom. The warmth of the love of your mom. You're remembering her because you lost her. I'm saying you can deal with that today. God knows how you feel. But what you can do is you can translate that love into good deeds. That love that you had for your mother. You can take that love and you can do something good with it. You can bless other people. You can help other people also. Just remember there are moms who are alone. They don't have anybody around them. Children living far away. Some don't have crowds around them. Some are holed up in a little apartment. You can go and bless them, do something for them. Why? You're doing it in memory of the mother that you had. And then there are moms who've lost their children. You may have lost a child. And it's a difficult thing when you've lost a child. I know what grief is like. And I know what sorrow is like. And I know that our God knows our grief. God knows our pain. And God knows our sorrow. What you can do today is you can lavish your love. If you've lost a child, take that same love that you had for that child and lavish it upon other children that you might have. Not only will you do that, but you can get out Look for children who do not have their mothers around. Bless them. Do something good for them. You'll find fulfillment. So for those of you who've lost your mother, you can do something. For those of you moms who've lost a child and you're mourning today, may the Lord bless you and comfort you. Jesus Christ was on the cross, the Bible says, and he was going to die. And the scripture tells us that he was breathing his last breaths. And he said to John, John, take my mother Make her yours. Watch over her and help her. I'll tell you what, if Jesus had that kind of care for his mother, we can do the same. God bless you. Have a great day. I'm going to talk to you again shortly.